Hello guys, Daniel again. As I had promised, I'm back with another tutorial. And uh, in today's tutorial, we are going to, to learn how to upload a static website on your C panel. So we already have uh, created a subdomain. This was covered in a separate guide. We have uh, a subdomain called test.dtechnologies.com. So we need to, what we want to do is to upload a website, uh, a website to this subdomain so that instead of uh, having something like index of, we, we want to have a complete uh, website. Uh, basically, this guide will just cover uh, uh, how to upload a static website. Uh, in other guides, we, we will focus and see how best we can uh, also cover how to upload a dynamic website that is a wordpress website uh, a php website that has a database a jungle website etc so uh, just what we need to do at the moment uh, is to access the cpanel i'm already logged in into my cpanel and uh, i have the domain lady and uh, i also have uh, the the files that i wish to upload for these uh, for this particular uh, subdomain so uh, as, as a, by the way uh, I'm hosting my webs all my websites with Truehost Truehost is a web hosting provider it's, uh, uh, it's the best there is and I'm sure you can get some good deals on their website I'll attach uh, a link to the, their website uh, below this video so let us uh, uh, continue so uh, on this uh, cpanel homepage this is the cpanel homepage basically if you're asking how i got here uh, if you happen to purchase uh, your hosting service with truehost uh, you receive some links uh, that will help you in accessing the, the cpanel so basically this is not the, the universal link that uh, you you might be having you yours could be different but for this case uh this is my uh, url to access the cpanel so uh, let's continue uh, uh, in this field uh, we are going to navigate to file manager we have the, this file manager just click on that just give it a little while as it loads So uh, as you can see, I have uh, a number of uh, subdomains and domains and other folders. So what I need to do is I need to navigate to the root folder of uh, uh, this subdomain test.dtechnologies. So usually you define the root, uh, the root folder when creating this subdomain. So in my case, I had defined uh, the, the root folder for this subdomain to be uh, test dot dtechnologies.com uh, well the guide is still the same uh, as when uploading to uh, a domain so if if you are to upload uh, a website on the primary domain so in my case the pri there is a primary domain usually the root folder is the public html this is usually defined by default uh, that is on the on the domain that is attached to uh, the C panel by, by default. So uh, that is for, for the for for the for the main domain for the primary domain. This is the root folder. But for add-on domains for uh, for subdomains, you need to define uh, when creating them. So in my case, I'll navigate to test dot d technologies. So what happens if you 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 don't recall or uh, the subdomain was created by another person it uh, the other person might have chosen a different uh, subdomain so what you need to do instead of uh, uh, searching for file manager you search for domains if you navigate to domains uh, this one will assist you in uh, quickly accessing the the root folder for the sub for the given subdomain so just search for your subdomain in this search field we have it uh, we have it here then under this column 
that is document root just click on that and it will open the root folder for that particular either domain or subdomain so uh, we are in the root folder so what we need to do is that we need to click on upload there is this uh, upload uh, button just click on that takes you to this uh, page then uh, click on select file after you click on select file then you need to navigate to the folder where you have uh, saved your uh, uh, the website so this is the particular website that i need to i need to upload it's worth noting that the website that you are uploading needs to be compressed uh, that is uh, that you have facilitate uh, 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 an easy time uh, uploading your website and it needs to be in zip format well there are other uh, compression technologies but uh, for for the cpanel uh, i would recommend you use uh, the dot zip format so just click on that then uh, select it will upload the files let's give it uh, well less than a minute once done we basically need to allow some time so that it uh, turns color then once it's done just click on go uh, go back to now this is still the root folder where we uh, we are to upload our website so here we are so now if you if you come to your domain and uh, rather your subdomain or the domain and you reload you realize that we are still yet to have our website right but we have we have a new file the one that we just uploaded so just come back uh, right click uh, right click then uh, we have this option of extract so let us extract to the root folder we just continue it's all done then uh, we already have our files here then let's navigate back to our subdomain and click reload and boom we have a live website so uh, basically there are some scenarios that uh, uh, may happen when uh, ex extracting your your files eh? if you happen to extract this file and uh, all these files appear in another file for instance let me just create create another file named test or rather another folder named test so if it happened that all these files were extracted under this test folder you can be sure that uh, you you not be having what you have here at the moment so all you need to do is to ensure that uh, you you uh, you push you push these files out of such a file and ensure that they are in the root directory right so uh, the, the root directory in our case is test.dtechnologies.com not test.dtechnologies.com slash test in, in any case if you wanted them to be under test then it means that you will be accessing your website on the subdomain you created slash test and I, I trust that is not what we want so we want the website to be under test.dtechnologies.com another scenario you might have uh, uh, basically the first page that you see here is the index.html uh, if this was uh, for instance let us name it home home.html home.html then you realize that uh, the server will not recognize that as the entry file until you uh, return a list of files that you have so until you click on a file like uh, price html it goes to price goes to services goes to about and all that but uh, all we need to do is to ensure that we have an index.html so that we can have a website uh, displayed instead of uh, instead of files 
So uh, I think uh, that marks the end of our tutorial. Today we were covering how to upload a static website on cPanel. Thank you for joining in. And uh, just a reminder, Truehost is your uh, trusted web hosting uh, company. I'll attach the links under uh, this video. Thank you for joining in. Please like this video, share, and also subscribe to our channel. Goodbye.